soccer fans. This is Jose Bosch for FCTucson.com. You're watching another edition of the FC Tucson Report. We're live at Field Fight where FC Tucson had a heartbreaking 1-0 loss to BYU to close the season and to close home matches at Field 5. Let's go to the highlights. In the fifth minute, Ricardo Velasco with his patented cut inside and shoot, but it was an easy save for the BYU goalkeeper. Then in the ninth minute, Velasco with a cheeky little back heel to Dakota Collins. Dakota falls, however, he recovers, finds Velasco in the box, and Velasco misses wide right, and it seems FC Tucson will be in control. In the 16th minute, Velasco with a point-blank shot, but it's saved by the BYU goalkeeper, and that will be a theme for the rest of the night. In the 19th minute, Dallas J kept the score at nil-nil with a diving save of his own. And then in the 28th minute, BYU almost scores an own goal when Velasco's cross is deflected up in the air. But as you can see, again, BYU's goalkeeper with another great save to keep the match nil-nil. It would be that way going into the half. Then in the second half, 52nd minute, after Dallas J makes an initial save, BYU's Jay Screen is there to pound the rebound into the back of the net to get BYU a one-nil lead. Then BYU control the second half in the 65th minute, BYU's Blake Frischknecht hit the crossbar. Then in the 69th minute, BYU's Brace Green gets ahead of them, misses just wide to the right. In the 74th minute, FC Tucson was threatening, and Isaac Akira fires a shot to the near post, but it was another diving stop from the BYU goalkeeper, who was excellent throughout the night. Then FC Tucson had its two most heartbreaking plays of the evening. In the 86th minute, Saeed Robinson with a wonderful dive on ball to a diving James Hubbard, but he misses the open net wide left, and then in stoppage time, 91st minute, James Huffer again with a header, but it goes off the post, and FC Tucson has to settle with the 1-0 loss. I spoke with head coach Rick Schatz and some players about the tough loss and a tough way to end a very tough season. Um, you know, that's a disappointing loss. The guys, we played really, really well for the first 20, 25 minutes and didn't, you know, we got unlucky, uh, didn't capitalize on our opportunities. Uh, you know, I can't ever take anything away. Our guys fight till the very end, and, and I appreciate that. I mean, it's a great team. We got a lot of great players. It's just, it would have been great to have a win tonight to end the season. You know, it's it was really rough. Uh, you know, at the end of the game, you know, we really wanted it. You know, we really wanted it. One for revenge, but mostly, you know, for the fans. You know, we had it's a huge crowd out tonight. You know, we were getting great support. Everybody was here, uh, and uh, we really wanted to get that one. And it was just. It's too bad it didn't go away. Tonight's match was a microcosm of the FC Tucson 2013 season. It began with a lot of promise, but ultimately ending in a lot of what ifs. FC Tucson finishes the year 5 5 and 4 in fifth place in the seven team Southwest Division. Now, offseason is upon us. However, FC Tucson will not be taking a break. If you want to keep up with all things FC Tucson, you can go to our website at www.fctucson.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at FC underscore Tucson or on Facebook at facebook.com slash FC Tucson. This has been another edition of the FC Tucson Report. This is Jose Boss saying so long, Tucson.